I lost the majority of my weight with OMAD. That was eating in a one meal a day style, you know, fasting for 20 hours a day, eating within a four hour eating window. And throughout my weight loss journey, I have always found success with keto. Keto is just my thing when it comes to cutting and losing weight. Now that I'm at the point where I'm exercising religiously, and not only just religiously, but exercising to the point where I'm focusing on building muscle and correcting my muscle imbalances that I received from the injuries of my car accident, I have discovered the power of TUMAD. I think TUMAD is literally the best way for me to portion control, but to make sure I have enough energy to push it at the gym. I find when I have my little keto breakfasts in the morning, which are like this little creamy, cheesy keto egg mix I make with like heavy cream in there, some cheese, and about two to three eggs, I find that my workouts are fueled to the max. I have enough energy and I am literally not hungry until later on in the day. So that is why I'm a big fan of Too Mad Keto. Today's video, we are gonna do a full day of Too Mad Keto where I'm gonna share with you my meals and how I am tracking my macro and micronutrients. Micronutrients are essential to track, especially if you're on a journey and you find that you know you may be fatigued or you may have a lot going on like me, like trying to recover from all of your injuries, it's very important to pay attention to those small, minute details. And I was using my fitness pal. I still have my paid version of my fitness pal, but I am gonna go cancel my subscription because when I was working with Marcella, she wanted me to focus in on having a specific ratios for mono, saturated and polyunsaturated fats. Those are the three types of fats. Then there's trans fats, but we want to avoid trans fats because trans fats are evil. And she was like, you're not hitting your macronutrient ratios or your fat ratios properly. And I'm like, I swear I am, because I was literally eating all the foods she told me, like all the polyunsaturated foods and all the monounsaturated foods, but it wasn't showing up on my fitness pal and I was getting frustrated. Then I clicked on the details of the foods that I was scanning on my fitness pal. And when people enter in the foods that they scan, they're not putting in the minute details. They're just putting in the basic three macros, fats, carbs, and protein. They weren't putting in the polyunsaturates, the monounsaturates, and the other fine details. And I was just like, well, that's what happened. So I'm deciding to use a different app that focuses on using the micro and micronutrients. And this app is completely free. And this app is known as the Trainist app, where they pay attention to those details with your nutrition. The Trainist app is not just a nutrition app, it's a fitness app. In mid 2024, the Trainist app is gonna have a certified personal trainer marketplace where personal trainers can offer coaching one-on-one. -on -one. I'm thinking about that because I'm looking to get my personal certification as a personal trainer very soon. So we can use the app for coaching for one-on-one -on -one, and there will be a marketplace where you connect with coaches and workouts. It has complete nutrition in it where they pay attention to details from the micronutrients to the macronutrients. It's essential to pay attention to those micronutrients because they do play a significant role in our metabolism, in our energy production, and yes, you know, the mitochondria. It's not just about focusing on the macros and the calories, but those tiny details are super essential to our weight loss journey because when we are losing weight and we are cutting calories, we wanna make sure we are getting whole nutrition and paying attention to those micronutrients are key. Now with the fitness side of the Trainist app, they will soon have check-ins, which is so crucial. Right now I'm taking photos weekly and I have to jump from this app to that app. It's gonna be convenient to have an app that has everything together, where I have my nutrition, my check-ins, and yes, they're gonna even have workouts. So with the check-in side of the app, you'll be able to check body composition, body measurements, and have check-in photos where they'll be in beautifully designed little info cards so you can see your progress from week to week. As I mentioned before, it's so important to focus on those photos because there will be many times on your weight loss journey or your fitness journey where that scale is gonna be stubborn. But I've told you guys, when I was losing weight, what would happen is the scale would hold 
However, my waist would go down. My clothes would be fitting looser. So it's important to have those check-in photos just to keep you going on your journey and not depend on the scale because the scale doesn't always tell the truth. And it will be so convenient to have that all in one app. Another great feature about the Trainist app is that it will be free, free without any annoying ads. There's no most annoying thing when I have a service and it's just cluttered with ads that completely just pollute the experience for us users. So Trainus app won't have any ads within its features. Also, if you are already using another app to track your meals and your food, which many of us are, Trainus does have an import server so you can import everything from another app into the Trainist app and then you can go from there. Trainus also prides itself in customer service. So if you have any problems, their customer service team will help you out. I can even not even think of other apps where there are any customer service representatives on there. Like, I, like I've used my fitness pal, I've used um, card manager. Um, I don't recall any like app that emphasizes the importance of customer service, which I think is key especially in the digital world if you have like any problems with like any like online thing customer service could be a pain in the butt so the trainist app literally prides itself on customer service now mind you they are in the beta stage right now they're looking to take feedback from their users so if you have any suggestions just shoot them a message and you're ready to go so now let's do this too mad meal or this too mad way of eating and I'm gonna show you my full day of eating while using the Trainist app. As you can see, I'm now out taking Bo for a walk at the dog park. She hasn't been out in a few days because we've had an epic, epic snowstorm. It would not stop snowing. So here we are. Anyway, this morning I woke up at around 7 a.m. So with Too Mad, you wanna have your first meal as soon as possible in the morning. So I had my chorizo or chorizo. <laughs> I was looking at the uh, pronunciation of this um, sausage. I didn't know it was Spanish. Hmm, cool. Um, I love Spanish culture, but it is, um, yeah, so chorizo is English. Bleh. Spanish is chorizo. <laughs> chorizo. <laughs> anyway, I had chorizo muffins. And basically I split it into two. I cooked it in a ram can. I usually put, cook it in one, but last time I cooked it in one, it overflowed. So the macros and calories for this little chorizo sausage is 523 calories, five grams of carbs, 33 grams of protein, and 40 grams of fat. And I also had a stick of butter in there so I can make it like nice and creamy and so it cooks well. And then on top of that meal, I had 47 grams of whipping cream. Of course, there's some plain, why is there a plane flying over? Hang on, I'm about to lose my finger here. <laughs> so I ended up having a coffee with lots of cream in it, about 47 grams of cream. And that equates to, I believe, 140 calories and I just added that to my snacks. And then at five o'clock p.m., so it was about nine hours between my first meal and my second meal, with too mad, like you wanna do it in a way where your meals are at least eight to nine hours in between. If you wanna get really effective results, your meal should be 10 to 12 hours in between. Basically with Too Mad, it's like OMAD, except you're having a small meal in the morning. It's up to you if you want it to be a keto meal or a carb meal, it doesn't really matter. It depends on your goals. If you want to stay in ketosis, obviously you go with a keto meal. And the goal is to have that space in between and then you just eat your OMAD meal at your regular OMAD time if you're doing OMAD. So I like Too Mad because it's a great way for me to stay in a calorie deficit, but still have enough energy to pump it at the gym. So I broke my Too Mad meal, my second meal with a snack. And that snack was pepperoni bites and Icelandic yogurt. Macros and calories for my snacks is, including the cream, is 24 grams of fat, 38 grams of protein, and 10 grams of carbs. We're at 401 calories. And for the day, I'm at 900, and I believe 
Well, let me check, my phone's right here, and 24 calories. So I'm just gonna walk Bo after I had my snack, and then we are gonna go to the kitchen and we are going to finish up my meal. And I'm not hungry, that's why I love doing keto too mad. <laughs> this is seriously the freshest ground beef I've ever bought from the store. I don't know why it's so fresh, but it's so freaking good. I got it from Save On Foods close to my gym, and I noticed the Save On Foods there. It's in Olympic Village, Olympic Park. Um, those of you who know, Calgary hosted the Olympics a million years ago. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing because some people still reminiscent about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> but like, you know, with grocery stores, you know if it's in like in a certain neighborhood, like the quality will be better. But I swear this cow died like the day before for us and I honor it because it is so good. It was just $8 a pack that they usually sell, but it's like so fresh. Like, oh, I love Albertan beef. I'm so lucky I moved here, <laughs> minus the cold weather. Anyway, this is my next meal. Macros and calories are on the screen there. I think it's about 300 calories or so. You guys can see it on the screen, but I will say it out loud because that's what I've been doing. 324 calories, 8 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, and 20 grams of fat. This is how you do proper keto, guys. You eat tons of vegetables. I've got a whole plate of vegetables underneath. I've got fresh tomatoes. I bought organic tomatoes at Superstore, but I'm going to get it from the farmer's market because they're rotting all already. Whereas the tomatoes at the farmer's market doesn't rot. And then this cucumber I got from Superstore, oh, so good. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this. And I'm currently cooking my next meal. It's spaghetti with some angel hair pasta, about 25 calorie per package. So that's gonna be cooked and that will probably be my last meal unless I stick in a nut snack. I might have to do that just to get my mono and saturated and polyunsaturated fats right. So yeah. After that marvelous, marvelous little semi taco salad there that I had with all of the leafy greens, I ended up having some spaghetti and the macros and calories are as follows, 420 calories, 18 grams of carbs, it's not net carbs, 43 grams of protein, and 21 grams of fat. I ended up having some cauliflower with it, and I, I had prego sauce, which isn't keto sauce. I need to go and find some keto tomato sauce but I had half of it. I made sure to pour it into the, the ground beef, so I made sure I was not having my carbs going over. And then after that meal, I had a lovely salmon snack with some cashew nuts and some Brazil nuts. I was gonna add almonds and walnuts, but I went over my calories, so I just deleted it. So my macros and calories for the day. 1,879 calories. My goal was 1,875, not a big deal. Total carbs is 43 grams. I will let you know my net carbs right now. Total carbs don't matter when you're on keto. It's all about those net carbs. So my net carbs for the day is 29. So I got to my goal. My goal is to have 30 grams of net carbs. So 29 grams of net carbs. 166 grams of protein, did good on the protein there, and fat 119. Now, my polyunsaturated fat and monosaturated fat level kind of went to, wasn't the best, but it's okay. At least I know I have a trusty app that I can depend on that actually takes into account these minute details while I am losing weight, building muscle, and healing up my body. Be sure to download the Trainus app. I will link a link in my description below. Make sure you use that link, guys. It'll be trainus.com slash Daniela Joy. Make sure you use that link to download the app and let me know how you like it. I really love the layout of it and everything I scanned on the app there was no like missing data. When I would use other apps, I would scan something and it would be like, oh, this hasn't been entered. Everything was entered and I'm in Canada and this company is in the USA. So you bet, bet you that everything will be 
scanned in the U.S. So the fact that I'm in Canada and I'm getting things like Western Canadian cheese, which is a Western brand that's exclusive to Alberta, they have it on their app. So that just makes nutrition easy. There's nothing more frustrating when I'm going to scan something and there's nothing in there that I got to scramble and figure out what to substitute it as. So yay for Trainus. And I cannot wait for their other features because this is literally my dream fitness app. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word app. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.